Hello and welcome everybody to this introduction to SWOT AHP. The learning goals of this video are that you refresh your knowledge on the standard SWOT analysis, which is a standard tool in business administration, that you conduct such a SWOT analysis with a cross-category comparison, and that you finally extend this SWOT analysis with a so-called analytical hierarchy process to prioritize the different factors in this analysis. If you know everything about SWOT analysis already and you are a very fast learner, especially when it comes to mathematics, you might just go along with these equations here and you can stop the video here. If this is not enough for you, please continue watching. So a SWOT analysis is a structured and strategic planning method, as I said, very popular in business administration. It is basically an evaluation of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of a company, of a project, a product or even a technology. We have four categories in such a SWOT analysis. We have external factors and we have internal factors and uh, factors can be helpful or harmful to achieving a certain objective. So factors that are of internal origin and helpful are called strengths. Factors that are of internal origin and not helpful or harmful to achieve an objective are weaknesses. And then we have the external factors. Positive external factors, so helpful factors are so-called opportunities and External factors that are not helping you, but are rather help, uh, harmful to your objective, are threats. What is often being done when people do SWOT analysis is uh, a very common mistake, which is mixing up the external and internal factors. So please make sure that in your SWOT analysis you really separate these two things. If you are talking about an internal factor, a factor that is internal, inherently linked with your project, uh, project or product or service or technology, then it is internal. If it is something that is happening in the outside world, then it's an external factor. A cross-category analysis can enhance your SWOT analysis by drafting certain strategies based on your analysis. For example, you can ask yourself the question, how may the opportunities that you identified for your product, service, technology be capitalized upon in the face of the prevailing strengths? So this is the so-called OS comparison. Then another question is how you may overcome your weaknesses to uh, accentuate uh, the previously defined opportunities. This is the OW comparison. Another question is, how may strengths be drawn on in order to reduce the vulnerability to threats? This is the TS comparison. And then finally, how can an examination of the threats weaknesses relation aid the formulation of a rather defense strategy? I would like you to do a short exercise to test your understanding of SWOT analysis. And this exercise looks as follows. Just draft a simple SWOT analysis for battery electric vehicles. And here try to think of at least three factors per SWOT category. So three strengths, three weaknesses, three opportunities and three threats. You can also come up with more factors, but we need at least three for a follow-up exercise later. Then please conduct a cross-category analysis. So this is basically what I showed on the last slide. Assume the perspective of a manufacturer and compare the different SWOT categories with each other to develop possible strategies. Of course, in a research paper, in uh, a paper or also in an analysis for a company, each of the factors would need to be justified, right? for example, based on literature or your own empirical work or some other kind of research. This is not necessary for this exercise as the goal is just to refresh your understanding and your skills in SWOT analysis. 
I drafted uh, a few factors uh, which uh, you might use as a starting point. One strength, for example, could be the better environmental performance compared to cars operated with traditional fuels. One weakness could be the higher price compared to traditional cars. One opportunity could be the many developments that we see out there on the battery development sector. And then one threat could be that there are certain technical challenges for the grid infrastructure.